Hey, Shalom, Makim, Shalom. First, and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor as due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles, a great millstone. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. Noise in the gospel, brother, lifting up the stun of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, it's the Aki Mahalaya, coming back with another quick lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will it be edifying. Um, I was meditating on this video. And um, that's the spirit because the spirit had me to wake up a little earlier today. And I was meditating on uh, Sirach, the sixth chapter, starting down at uh, 14 on down. OK, and um, some very key points that the apostle Ricard made about his upbringing and the truth, how he said apostle Tahar was on his ass, man. OK, and that's, in fact, biblical. OK, because Yahweh Shai, he stayed on top of the head disciple Peter. He stayed on John, but he mainly rebuked Peter the most because a, basically in a roundabout way, he told him, look, if I'm going to set my, my church upon your shoulders, man, you need to be built up for the fucking job, you know, and then what Apostle Ricard, and I'm going to play the clip that he mentioned how Apostle Tahar was on his ass, man, and it got to him to where he, it got him to where he's at today, okay, and that's the whole thing about having a forward leader, okay, not knocking brothers that's not forward, that's gentle, because it's edification in both spirits, but that's one main benefactor about brothers that's out or that's just straight up, straightforward with their men, you know, and being able to tell their men what they need to know when they need to know it without them getting emotional or taking it some type of way. Because in this truth, you got to have thick skin. OK, and if you ultimately rebuke by a sincere brother is because he's he loved you, man, you know, like Mighty Murph said, and I'm going to echo that statement and I feel the same exact way. Hey, brother, see me going off. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You a friend of mine, hey, get me on the right path, man, you know? And it's a way to do things because it's order. Of course, you don't mean be cursing out your elders like, oh, motherfucker, you better. Nah, that ain't really your job as a younger man to do so. But there's ways and ways to deal with everything in his faith. So if you see a brother that's slacking in his quality of work or his mindset is all over the place, man, it's your job to rebuke that man and put him on, put him back in point because that's a faithful friend right there, okay? Don't tell me how good I dress or... I like the what you got on, bro. Fuck all that. That don't mean shit, you know. But as far as if I'm getting weak in the faith and you seeing some type of decline in my 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 productivity in his faith, man, brother, hey, you know, brother, call, check up on him. Hey, brother, how you doing, man? What's going on? You know, get your mind straight. Think, you know, because, hey, it's our job to pull each other out that fire, man. All right. And that's what those other camps don't really have. They don't really have rebuke because they're so used to accolades, man. OK, they're so used to being uh a uh, noteworthy of being worshipped, okay, and being good and looking good in front of men and being extolling of themselves to the point they don't realize the, the sincerity and the strength behind rebuke, man, okay, because rebuke, it strengthens character if you have a solid spirit on you. Now, if you bitch made and you emotional, then of course you're going to falter, you know, but even then with brothers that's kind of sulfur in the spirit, so to speak, it's a way that you rebuke a brother, you know, so you don't destroy him. But at the same time, rebuke is ultimately necessary, man. And that's why I was meditating on this chapter, man, because, hey, that's a true friend in the faith. You know, not somebody that's going to tell you uh, what you want to hear all the time, man. You know. All right. So this is the book of. Uh, uh, matter of fact. Rebuke sharply. This is the book of uh, Titus 1 and 13. It says here, this witness is true. Wherefore, we build them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. OK, now let's go into the word sharply real quick. Then we're going to get into the meat of the lesson. Word sharply goes into a patamos, right? Which means here abruptly, precipitously, sharply, severely, curtly. Okay, if you look up curtly, it means rudely brief. Like, nigga, get your shit together or you fucking up, man. Rudely brief, okay? Paul, hey, what is it? 2 Corinthians 10 and 13. So they may be sharp in the faith, roughly paraphrasing it. I use sharpness, curtly, kind of rude. Hey, that's the spirit that Apostle Dar come in. And, you know, various leaders in his truth, man. I even come in the spirit, you know, when I have to be kind of hard or stern on shit, you know, I mean, you can't just be that all the time, but you have to balance it out. But that's the whole point, man. That's a true friend, one that cares about your well-being, 
that's going to tell you, hey, look, bro, you know, I'm noticing something is off. You know, are you okay? What's going on with you, man? You got to get your mind back in the game. Okay? Uh, sharply. With sharp or steeply tabling edge or point, certain piercing physical sensation. Okay? I Meaning straight to the point. Okay? Not necessarily friendly. It's just straight to the point. Okay? Uh, with the sudden mark change, critical or hurtful manner strongly or harshly okay <laughs> so i'm gonna play this video a little bit man and uh, i'm gonna get the precept but uh he made some good points in this man so i'm gonna play it real quick so opened up in levels that i couldn't even fucking believe man. Uh, made me fucking think man because apostle Tahar used to always tell me years ago man 20 25 years ago when i was much younger he said brother you little know, brother, man, you lazy minded, you lazy minded, man. And I was. He said, no, man, because he saw potential in me that I didn't see. He said, no, brother, you, you, you ain't lazy, but you fucking lazy minded, man. You know, you gotta come out of that, man. Start opening your fucking mind up, man. You understand? And, and through the grace of, through the grace of the how about you now, I started doing it. And, and my mind opened up in levels that I couldn't even fucking believe. And that's a true friend right there, man. And he saw the potential in that man. That's why he rebuked him sharply. Okay? And that's the thing, though, man. When you have a faithful companion in his faith, they don't want to see you fall, man. Because when you fall, that's them falling. Like a companionship, man. If your mate hurt, you hurt. And that's how the brotherhood is. You know, when brothers are in trouble, then we all in trouble. Because we're a body, man. Like I've never heard of a... Uh, if you have vertigo, that shit disrupts your whole being. Your whole body is off. Okay, your whole balance is off. Okay, you may feel fine, but your perception of shit is off. Well, buddy, so if a brother is slacking and he's cut up or he's doing whatever, man, that affects the whole body, man. It's a unit, you know? Just like if you lose one arm, you may be able to function with the other ligaments of your body, but you can do so much better with all your extremities, man. Okay, that's a faithful friend right there. And I'm gonna get into the scriptures in a minute. And it's spiritual because this video was... 14 minutes and 41 seconds, which is spirit, man. That's 144 going both ways. Call her lawyer, how about she mean how was shy? Last period of time, myself and Apostle Gabal, if Apostle Gabal was here, he would tell you the same fucking thing. He used to curse me and Apostle Gabal. He used to curse me and Apostle Gabal out. Because the three of us were together all the time. We'd be in that van, it was back in the 90s, man. <laughs> Apostle Gabal was driving the vans, man, Apostle Gabal stayed on our ass. But now I see why. Back then we had no clue. <laughs> the masses, y'all all came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? All the y'alls came out of nowhere, man. And that was, it's an emotional experience even speaking about that, man. Like, I don't want like to, they said, I get emotional talking about this shit. Yeah, man. And that's the, that's the fruits of the spirit. That's the fruit of the spirit, man. So, hey, you know, you can't take rebuke uh, personal because that's a good thing. You know, especially when you want to see your men do better. Especially when they're making dumb decisions, man. Dumb decisions that can put themselves and the body in jeopardy. That's why we have to stay on one another. You know, scriptures say, know the state of thy flock. So a wellness check. Brothers get in the spirit of doing fucking wellness checks, man. Pick up your phone, check in with your elders and shit. That's what, you know, and that's what needs to happen. Bigger camps have that system. Hey, brother, I did this many videos, man. I'm feeling this way in the spirit. I feel a little down, this, this and that. And then we can deal with it. Because that's a wellness check, man. It's just like doing a checkup. You go to Esau to get checked up to see if your body is right. If you got pain in your left ligament, then, hey, man, you reach out to the physician. Okay? So, in this case, reach out to the physician, man. The physician. Or the physician, <laughs> should I say. You know? And call brothers, man. You feel it some type of way? Call brothers. If brothers can't deal with it at the point being, then, hey, brothers will get back to you. We're a unit. We're a collective. Okay? So, this is the book of uh, Sirach 6. And I'm going to start at verses 14. It says, A faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that have found such one have found the treasure. And they found treasure in their elders, man. The Apostle Ricardo is speaking on it. We find treasure in our elders, man. And our older brothers in this thing. Even in the young brothers. So this is a beautiful thing to have this body, man. Okay? Because, hey, the people of the world, they can't understand what trust is. They can't understand how tightly knit we are. You know? How close we rely on one another. Because the body relies on every functioning part in order for it to function properly. And if something is off, then the whole body is off, man. Okay? 
And people don't understand it because in the world, they've never equated to anything personable or they've never experienced trust or real love. Okay? That's why this brotherhood is so special. And it says, nothing of countervail a faithful friend. And his excellency is inviolable, right? Okay? It's inviolable. You can't put a price on real brotherhood, man. Like they say, oh, this is priceless. It is. And it says, and a faithful friend is the medicine of life. And they that fear the Lord shall find him. And whosoever fear the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he shows, so his neighbor be also. And it's Satan because it comes fucking co-worker. But anyway, my son, I'm going I'm to I'm hurry up and get through this. And it says here, my son, gather instruction from thy youth up. Okay. Which from your younger years. And so thou shall find wisdom in thy old age. And come up unto her as one that ploweth and soweth. And wait for her good fruits. For thou should not toil much. And laboring about her. But thou shalt eat the fruits of her fruit soon and this is the reason why uh apostle what i mean was breaking that down the reason why apostle Tahar pushed him so hard because you see potential if you know better then you do better and sometimes you just need a, a gentle push for somebody to bring out that confidence in you man and that's part of being in his faith because hey brothers man you know we didn't have any idea that we would grow to be you know mature men in the spirit pushing his word man breaking down the scriptures waking and turning other people into righteousness man i never would have thought that i was doing this in 11 years you know i never would have thought i would have laughed and scoffed at like yeah right i'm not putting myself out there looking stupid for these fuck nah i thought i had that mentality i said yeah yeah right <laughs> you can't pay me to do this but look at <laughs> look at me now which shows you that a man's goings is of you how about you how we shy and not his own venition man okay and it says here she is very unpleasant to the unlearned and he that is without understanding would not remain with her right that's you slow bellies out there you men that's in this thing for the wrong reason you men that's just half-assing it you men that's in this for your own personal gain so to speak like you other camps man you don't understand what this what this wisdom and knowledge is about so therefore it's going to be a burden to you and that's why you fall out and it says and she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of a trial and he would cast her from his earth it be long okay because hey men get offended i'm getting too this too much man i'm going through too much hell i can't deal with that israel like my family don't fuck with me no more that's the type shit it become an offense to you okay and it says for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifested into many right because only the election got this and i can say out of all the camps man i feel like great millstone have the strongest brotherhood and unity and that's real talk for as much people that claim we wasn't unit we wasn't brotherly we wasn't unified we were just beating people down and shit like that hey man this this proves it okay you know this this body is very important because hey man we're brotherly to all brothers that's sincere in this thing and i myself can attest to that and it says and give ear my son and receive advice hey he received the advice he said hey man you too fucking lazy minded man and hey he straightened up Okay, and sometimes, like I said, it take that rebuke to get a brother on point. He says, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel <laughs> and put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. And I knew it was a reason why the spirit had me meditating on this earlier because it just hit me. But it says, and bow down thy shoulder and bear her up and be not grieved with her bonds and come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. And search and seek and she should be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got a hold on her, let her not go. Right? This wisdom and understanding. Hold on to it with everything you got, man. Because this is all we got. Okay? And it says, For at the last thou shalt find her rest and shall be turned into thy joy. Because wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. And then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee and her chains a robe of glory. And for there is a golden ornament upon her and her bare Bands are purple lace. Purple represents royalty, man. And it says, And thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, and she shall put about thee as a crown of joy. Okay? Verse 32. And I'm kind of rushing through it because I got to get back to work. But it says, My son, if thou wilt, thou should be taught. Okay? And we are taught of the apostles and the elders, man, and the older brothers. And if thou would apply thy mind, thou should be prudent. And this is the reason why that man is in his position now, because he took heed to these scriptures, man. And it says here, If thou love to hear, Thou shall receive understanding, and if thou bound thy ear, thou shall be wise. Okay, verse 34. Stand in the multitude of the elders <laughs> and cleave unto him that is wise. Okay, this is the reason why we're under the good tutelage of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai. This is a blessing being under this particular banner because we have the right way, unlike these other clamps out here. 
And it says, and stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise and be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. <laughs> being diligent, man, being fruitful, being over yourself. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Meaning, hey, go to that man. Okay. It was to the point in time that when Uriah was teaching us, Hey, brother, stayed at his house, man. He should have been was knocking on his door for every fucking priest or everything. And, hey, that's an honorable thing, man. Okay, because that man is putting his faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, If thou seest a man of understanding, get the betimes unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door, and let thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord, and meditate continually on his commandments, and he shall establish thy heart, and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. All praises and glory and honor is due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.